Panasonic drum. There you go. I'm going to do one. Just so you know, you need a lot of room to do the work. This area here is too small. Trying to save one of these clips. It'll save you time. Put that off. That one there. Motor down there. Just pull these out of the motor. Motor pulls to the back. Pretty simple from here on in. Got your front weights and your top weight. Get them off first. Put them in order so they're all okay. We've well, got the motor off. That can stay there. All we got to do now. Take the temperature sensor, a few clips. There's a couple of little screws under here, so you need a dumpy screwdriver and the hoses. And that's it. Just take the two screws off there that one and that one. Now loosen this. Loosen that, give you a bit more room. You want to get your side box out of the way, which is one screw there. Little spray clip. Pull them off. Chuck that around the back like that. 16 mil socket. What you want to do now is get the shock absorbers off. It's captive nut behind it, so wet them off. You start to feel the drum get really light. Take these hoses off, that sensor off, and those screws. Take off the last shock absorber around the back. Just about fit in there. It's all come loose. It's just hanging on the springs now. There's a couple more little things. Just a couple of little things. A, let's get that motor out of the way. There we go. And B, a couple of little screw fittings. There. There's one. It just holds the cables to the drum. And there's one there. Two of them. That's why you need your dumpy screwdriver. For and then there's just two more last wire clips at the back of there. Holding these on.
still have to do this while filming. There you go. Right, so also now that the drum's loose, and it can move about, it's now giving you access to the 3D sensor. And that's easy to get at. It's another dumpy screwdriver job still, but. drums ready to come out. Now this is a steam model so the only difference being so just remove that and she's ready to come out. Drums should now be good to go. screws on, motor I've left plugged in, sensor for the heater. That's why you unbolt these two screws to give yourself some room. You see you can get your long noses in there and squeeze. Okay, run it all the way around nice and tight. All the way around. You can try to do it by hand. It's quite easy actually. Oh, I missed it. I wasn't watching my hands, I was watching the camera. If you can't do it by hand, use the two rings there and there. Let's put the new one in. Oh yeah, before you even start this job, check for damage, because these things are heavy, big. Main point's to go, where the big hoses go on there. So this one's got some chips out of it, there's nothing wrong, major, and the heating element. Any cracks in the outer tub, it's no good. Very clumsily goes back in. some sensor back on. Start off with the 3D sensor back in. Now underneath. Don't forget on here on the drum be some rubber mounts and I've left them on the old drum so I'll go grab them no washer in there one two make sure the wires are clipped back on trust me it won't last a week send the um the thread the nut on the back's captive so
these are little things off the old drum. And they go there like that. Got these uh, rubber things on the bolts. your motor's back on, I just want to put your heater back on. Uh, fold to the heater there, and this one, remember, just goes up there. Remember I said earlier, save that, good old bag. Gonna wrap it up in the little bag and that that will clip straight through the hole on that metal thing like that force it in there look force that back around it lovely black thing tie wrappy thing which you can add to the cable too <laughs> gonna do the rear shock absorber well in there from here on in it's pretty much just weights and front, front panel through the back of there, you, you can't see in the video but there's a hole there, just poke out through the little hole, well easy, and clip that on like that. Too bad now, is it? Do any big job like this, lads? Double check. Always double check. Shockers, motor, pipes, sensor, cables tied up and clipped away. I've forgotten that screw. That's an easy one to forget. This is for you, Gary. I know you like this. These are so f tight, the trick to it is to when you pull it round, not, not what I'm doing now, but when you go and pull the metal band round, really pull it so it digs into the rubber. And as I'm pulling round, I'm really pulling, you know, I'm digging that right in there. Every little helps with this, I mean, one finger there. Get your fingers on the inside, get your thumb there, fingers on the inside, run them round. Might not get it first time. Don't worry, try, try again. God damn it. Hate these things. Nope, failed. <laughs> See, Gary, I don't always get it first time, mate. Yeah. Nice. Always wet test these. You never know. Right, I'll put the lid back on and I'll plumb it in and we'll wet test it. You've double checked, everything's on, so you shouldn't have any problems, but why not wet test it, eh? It'd be silly not to. 